everyone, this is Ms. Peters, and today I'm going to go over how what reaction mechanisms are um, for AP Chemistry. If you are one of my students in 2023, this is page 30 of your notes packet. So what is a reaction mechanism? A reaction mechanism is a step-by-step -step, um, path explanation or pathway of how you go from reactant to product. So sometimes we might say, for example, this is the chemical reaction. A plus B makes C. Um, and sometimes that happens in one step. So literally A collides with B and we make C. Other times it could happen like this, where A first is going to react maybe with D and make E. And then E is going to react with B and make C and D or something like that. This is a reaction mechanism. It shows the steps for how we get here. Um, so that's what a mechanism is. Now, every event or every part of a reaction mechanism where I wrote step one and step two, those are what's known as elementary steps, like elementary school, elementary steps. And sometimes a step has one molecule. Um, so neither one of these were that case, but for example, let's say my step one didn't say that, that was my step one, A becomes E. There's only one molecule in my reactant, that is said to be a unimolecular step. If there are two reactant molecules, like this one, E plus B, that is said to be a bimolecular step. And a termolecular step would be if you have three particles. And these are extremely rare. Why are they rare? For a chemical reaction to occur, um, as I hope you know, molecules first, they have to collide with each other. So they have to hit. They have to hit with the correct orientation. And they have to collide with enough energy to break the activation energy which is really the energy you need to break the bonds. So for three molecules to all hit each other with the right amount of energy in the right orientation, that's just not going to happen very often. That's why it's extremely rare. Unimolecular and biomolecular steps are much more common. Um, so a real life example of a reaction mechanism that's not just letters would be this. We have this reaction, 2NO plus O2 makes 2NO2. That's the chemical reaction. The actual steps of this reaction are this. Um, step one, step two. And so looking really fast, the step one is 2NO. So you would need 2NO molecules to collide. That's a bimolecular step. And it would make 1N2O2. And then that 1N2O2 is going to collide with an O2. Um, to make two and two O's. And so once again, I have two reactant molecules. That's a bimolecular step. And when you combine the steps, you end up getting this reaction. Now, what do I mean combine the steps? We need to look at what we have. So uh, I have NO as a reactant. I have N2O2 as a product, but then it's a reactant again. It's a product and then it's a reactant. So it's made and then it's used. Because it's on both sides of the equation, we cancel it out. Um, I have O2 as a reactant and I have 2 into O as a product. So when you combine the steps, you end up getting this. But I don't put into O2 in my final equation because it cancels out. And so we have a name for that into O2. It's made and then it's used. That is what's known as an intermediate. An intermediate is just a molecule that gets created in the reaction mechanism and then used in a later step. And so knowing a reaction mechanism um, can help us to infer rate laws. Um, now, we can only infer rate laws from steps, not from the overall reaction, because again, this reaction happens in two steps. So to get the rate law, we can infer it, which is like an edu very educated guess. It's an inference. It's not 100% you know, proved by data. 
but knowing the steps helps us to infer rate loss. Um, and it's just based on the stoichiometry or how many molecules that collide. So in the example above, if I asked you for the rate law for step one, because it's a step, I could look at it and say it is rate equals K and O, and there are two NOs in it, so we square it. That is an inference on what that step's rate law would be. Not necessarily this reactions, just this rate law. For the second step, if I asked you what's the rate law for just this step, not the reaction, it would be rate equals K into O2, and there's only one into O2, so it doesn't get an exponent, times O2. And again, this works for steps. You can infer um, a rate law for a step based on the stoichiometry, not based on a chemical reaction. So a good summary of the steps are right here. A unimolecular step would be, and it's going to be just one reactant. If it said like 2A in front of it, that's not unimolecular, that's bimolecular. That would be its rate law, some bimolecular steps, and some termolecular steps. So this video was just a quick introduction to what a reaction mechanism is. I hope that helped. The next video is going to talk about speed of reactions and rate loss.